Hello, this is Danny Sura and you're watching Breaking Into Bollywood. So if you saw the previous episode, uh, you got to find out more about me, what led to my decision of moving to Mumbai to work as an actor in the Bollywood entertainment industry. Uh, I think I landed around about May 9th, May 11th, 2011 uh, at Mumbai International Airport. Uh, so what did I do next when I got here? So one of the first things that I did uh, was join a gym. Uh, I was staying by Juhu Circle and just by Juhu Circle uh, there was a gym called Powerhouse. The reason why I wanted to join a gym first uh, is because um, I wanted to keep my routine uh, as close to the routine uh, I had back in England. So I thought that would really help me adjust uh, to, to a new country, to a new environment and also because uh, exercise and staying fit uh, is a very important aspect in my life and if you're going to become an actor you kind of need to maintain uh, I wouldn't say your looks exactly but you need to look half decent so when I'm in a new place I like to explore uh, so I was walking around I came across uh, Prithvi Theatre uh, for an actor that is like one of the things on the bucket list to tick off that yes I have performed at Prithvi Theatre and uh, I have but we're going to talk about that in a future episode. And another thing about Prithvi Theatre, they serve the best cutting chai. So if you're ever in the area and you fancy some chai, head over to Prithvi. Uh, and near Prithvi, uh, I came across this. Okay, so I'm walking back home and uh, I just spotted uh, a nice uh, supermarket. Uh, it looks a little bit like uh, Sainsbury's or something like that. So I'm going to go in and uh, have a look, but check it out. Nature's Basket, like the name. Nature's Basket. Uh, this place has got everything, man. I even came across what I thought at that time was Mr. Amadal Bachchan's uh, house. Okay, uh, I'm coming across now, Amitabh Bachchan's bungalow. Now, if you don't know who Amitabh Bachchan is, shame on you. This is it, Amitabh Bachchan's house, the best actor in India. I got already excited for no reason. It wasn't. I even found a place where they gave excellent head massages. So let's get to the important bit. How did I land my first audition? So my cousin, uh, she did a bit of modeling and she's done a bit of acting in the past. So through her contact, um, you know, she gave me her friend's number who I think knew somebody who was working at MTV and MTV uh, were casting for a new reality show that they were going to be doing. Uh, so he hooked me up with that person. Uh, I had some portfolio pictures uh, that I took. I shared that with a concerned person. And yeah, they invited me to an audition and the audition was happening at a place called Aram Nagar. Actors in Mumbai, we all know where Aram Nagar is. Uh, all the auditions pretty much happened there. But I never heard of the place before. And what's even more confusing, Aram Nagar is split into two parts. So you've got Aram Nagar part one, then you've got Aram Nagar part two. Uh, so I had to go to Aram Nagar part two uh, and I wasn't sure how far it was from my place. Uh, my cousin said that, yeah, catch a rickshaw and uh, yeah. Look at what happened. Okay, well, uh, I'm on the rickshaw now, heading off to the audition. Uh, I got into one rickshaw, my man uh, said it's gonna be 60 rupees. Uh, so yeah, he's trying to uh, swindle me. Uh, so yeah, uh, have a look at the surroundings and uh, enjoy the bumpy ride. So around Nagar part two looked totally different back then. This is like going back in 2011. Okay, well, I've uh, reached the destination now. Uh, it's one big plot of land. Uh, have a look. So I'm looking for bungalow number 143. If you go there now, it's really, really busy. Uh, you know, you've got so many like restaurants there now, you've got a big, big ass gym there on the grounds and luckily uh, I found a place uh, and I went in to give my first ever audition. Okay, well uh, I'm in the audition room and I've just been uh, told that they need to take pictures of me topless and they asked me if, I, if I've got a body. Uh, so nobody told me that I'm going to be taking topless photos but hey, <laughs> it's got to be done, it's got to be done. I just hope the Peronte aren't showing on my stomach now. Okay, well, uh, just had the audition and uh, yeah, it went quite well. So I had to do a couple of uh, scenes that were improvised and uh, I mixed it up, did a bit of Hing English uh, dialogue, did a bit of Hindi dialogue. I'll tell you one thing though, when they uh, made me take my top off and take pictures, uh, that was a bit, uh, 
I was a bit nervous at that, uh, but the bike didn't look too bad. Uh, so I'd need to uh, do some more training uh, to get the, the biceps ripping and stuff. After I gave the audition, uh, I was impressed, man. I was like, yeah, you know, the way they do auditions here is exactly the way they do it in England. You're given an appointment, you're given a specific time slot, you go there, it's one actor in, one actor out. Little did I know, auditions generally do not happen like that in Mumbai. Okay, well, I found the place. It's actually it wasn't in Aram Nagar 2 where I went before for the MTV audition. It's actually uh, Aram Nagar 1, which is about five minutes down the road. So I found it. Uh, I'm just walking towards it now. Well, I'm trying to look for number 124. Okay, so I went to the, uh, the number 124. It turns out that the person that's doing the ad is not doing it anymore. And they're doing it down the road, number 128. But actually the guy must have liked the look of me because he wanted to uh, take my photographs and uh, he may be calling me tomorrow to uh, do an ad for uh, watches, uh, fast track watches. So yeah, I said to him, it must have been fate that I had to come here and meet you instead of the person that's doing the ad. So fingers crossed, hopefully something happens. Now I'm going to go to actual audition in room 128. Hopefully I won't get knocked down by any of these bikes. Now you can see, look, these are all the people standing out waiting for it. Okay, so I don't think there's any system set in place. Just queue up and then you go straight into the door. So there's a bit of a lot of people here, so have a look. All waiting to go in and audition. Okay, so we've got a queue sheet now and everyone's just jumping in to get their names down. And that's the person over there that's doing it, so I'm going to give him my name. Danny, my friend. It was, a, it was a surreal experience, but I admit I was loving it, man. I thought, yeah, this is what it's all about. You know, all these people, they're in the same position as I am. You know, we're all here, we're all struggling, but damn it, we're going to be struggling together. Oh, don't get a dead man. One time you get dead, you can't get rid of yourself. And then when I walked into the room, it was just full of other actors, you know, and I was like, are we supposed to audition in front of all these people? That's exactly what was happening. And that was really, hard for me to digest because in England uh, you don't have a group of actors auditioning together you're giving appointments so if I had an audition at 12 o'clock John Smith would have an audition at 12 30 so I would go in first then John Smith would come in after here yeah, 50 mans in a room man and I was like what the heck so this is where I first heard the the phrase fit not fit <laughs> so basically what happens is uh, uh, the casting director or the casting assistant will come out, he'll have a look at people, so he'll be there like, you know, sometimes be having a cigarette. Boss, not fit, not fit, not fit, huh, fit. So he's the one deciding if you're suitable uh, for the audition or not by saying fit, that means yes, come on in, not fit, bye, see you later. Uh, yes? <laughs> Oh, come on, man. I've been waiting for over two hours. People have come after me and they've gone in before me. Let me go in. Hey, you're not fit. I've been sitting here for two hours, man. My ass has gone numb. Why couldn't you tell me before? Hey, hey, hey. What are you getting so upset about? I've been waiting for two hours, man. So after my first audition, I started to uh, walk around and explore uh, Aram Nagar Part 2. Now this place, they've got lots of studios where auditions are happening on a you know, daily basis. So I was just walking around and on the door of these auditions, they have like the name of the brand that they're casting for, the requirements of the actors, the email of the casting director involved. So um, initially I just, you know, used to walk in and introduce myself and say, hey, my name is Danny Sura. I've just moved from England and uh, yeah, I'm an actor. So, you know, may I share my email ID with you and can you give me your email ID so that I can share my pictures with you and my, uh, you know, my showreel, my acting showreel. So that's what I did. Walked around, knocked on every door in Iran with the part two. If nobody was in, I would take a picture of the email address and uh, when I would get home, uh, I would, you know, email over my portfolio pictures uh, and my acting showreel. So the same thing that I did in Aram Nagar Part 2 uh, is the same thing that I did uh, when I went to different places to audition. So Aram Nagar Part 1, for example, uh, on the main road, there's so many studios there where auditions are you know, taking place. Uh, and I used to go to each one, knock on the door. The thing about this industry is, if you're the new kid on the block, people know, 
uh, casting directors know straight away because they haven't seen you before. Uh, so you get called to a lot of auditions. Uh, and there are some other people, some other actors uh, who are very gracious and uh, who are kind enough to share uh, the information that they've got uh, with regards to casting directors and casting coordinators that are out there. So initially, that's how my network grew. It's amazing actually going back and seeing this old footage from like 2011 uh, when I first came here. Sometimes I wonder, that person there, is he the same person now? When I first came, I had a lot of fire in my belly, you know, I was motivated, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna conquer this industry. Uh, but I have to admit, over the years, it's just gotten harder because there's, you know, new actors coming in every day. The industry has changed somewhat, which I'll get into in another episode. So uh, I, I, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, please leave any questions in the comment section below. I'm going to be sharing my uh, social media handles with you. Uh, please connect with me on Instagram and Twitter. If you want to see the previous episodes, uh, the link's going to come in the corner uh, after this one. So yeah, please click on it. Uh, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy them as well. Thank you. This is Daniel Sura and you're watching Breaking Into Bollywood. God bless and take care.